How can huh? parrots talk? Are you kidding me? Parrots can't talk. Huh? Oh, um, some. According to a research, parrots' brains have an additional structure called shells, or outer rings which surround those areas which control vocal learning. These shells are believed to help parrots to be really good at copying sounds, thus giving them the ability to talk like humans. Hmm. In addition to this, parrots are highly sociable animals. As they crave interaction as well as attention, they start mimicking us to become a part of our flock. Hmm. Why does soap make bubbles? No big deal. Om Sum's bubbles are the biggest. Oh, Om um, Sum. The answer lies in the chemistry of soap molecules. The two opposite ends of the soap molecules behave extremely differently. On one hand, there is an end known as the hydrophilic end. This end attracts water. While on the other hand, there is an end known as the hydrophobic end. This end repels water. Hmm. Now when we mix soap with water, these opposite ends of the soap molecules sandwich a thin layer of water between themselves. This basically leads to the creation of a thin film that contains a small amount of air. And this is what we call a bubble. Hmm. Why are sharks boneless? No big deal. Even Omsum doesn't have bones. Oh, Omsum. The skeleton of sharks is actually made of cartilage. Cartilage is the same stuff that our ears and nose are made up of. Now, cartilage is less dense than bones. Hence, it is much lighter, making sharks weigh less and thus helping them stay afloat. Hmm. Also, as the cartilage is flexible, it gives shark the ability to swim quickly and catch its prey. Hmm. Finally, the skeleton made of cartilage heals faster than that made of bones. Hence, sharks are boneless. Hmm. How tall can we grow? Simple. As tall as a giraffe. Huh? Oh, um, some. <laughs> the genes which we inherit from our parents will make us grow approximately as tall as our parents. Hmm. Also, factors like nutrition, physical health, hormones, etc. also affect our height. Now, if we grow taller huh? than what we are at present, then we would require much larger bones. Also, the amount of blood in our body would be more, thus making it hard for the heart to pump so much blood. Hmm. Where huh? does wind come from? Simple. Om Sum keeps it trapped in this box. <coughs> oh, Om um, Sum. During daytime, air present above land heats up much faster, as compared to air present above the surface of rivers and oceans. The heated air above land expands and rises up. The cooler air from the oceans rushes in and takes its place, resulting in a sea breeze. Now, at night, inland temperatures drop, making oceans relatively warmer than land. Hence, air above oceans expands and rises up. The cooler air from land rushes in to take its place, resulting in a land breeze. In this way, wind is born. Why is ketchup so hard to pour? Simple. Because nobody is as strong as Om Sum. Oh, Om Sum. Firstly, as compared to water, ketchup has a higher viscosity. Viscosity is the resistance of a fluid to flowing. That means ketchup provides more resistance to flowing as compared to water. Ketchup consists of many ingredients. But if we look closely, the solid parts of the ketchup as in the tomato bits, are actually touching each other. This physical connection of the tomato bits gives ketchup the strength to resist flowing. Hence, ketchup is so hard to pour. <laughs> Why does our huh? foot fall asleep? Nah, entire Omsum falls asleep. Oh, Omsum. Nerves are like huh? cables which run through our entire body. Their main function is to carry electrical impulses or messages between our brain and our body. <laughs> now, when we sit on our foot, the nerves huh? in that area are temporarily compressed. Hence, these nerves are not able to send any message to our brain or receive any message from our brain. Huh? As a result, the connection between our brain huh? and our foot is Ooh. cut off. Hence, it feels huh? like our foot has fallen asleep. Hmm. How can some people predict rain? Simple, by calling the clouds. Oh, um, some. 
Lightning usually occurs just before the beginning of heavy rainfall. Nitrogen and oxygen molecules which are present in the atmosphere are split by the lightning bolts. This eventually leads to the production of ozone. Now, strong blowing winds carry this ozone downward along with them. Ozone is a very sharp smelling gas. When a person smells this ozone, it helps him predict the rain. Hmm. Why are we afraid of the dark? <laughs> Om Sum is not afraid of anyone. Huh? Oh, Om Sum! In prehistoric times, especially at night, our ancestors were at high risk of being attacked by predators or enemies. Hence, through evolution, the tendency to fear darkness developed in us. Also, as we cannot see properly in the dark, we become anxious and start to imagine the worst possible outcomes. Hence, we are afraid of the dark. Hmm. Why do astronauts wear orange and white space suits? Simple. Because orange and white looks good in space. Oh, um some. The orange spacesuit is called the Advanced Crew Escape Suit. This suit is worn during the launching or the landing of the space shuttle. If there is any malfunction during this period and the astronaut decides to escape, then the orange color is the most visible against the blue sky and the sea. The white spacesuit is called the Extra Vehicular Activities Suit. This suit is worn when astronauts are working outside the space shuttle. Firstly, the white color reflects most of the sun's extreme heat as compared to other colors. Also, it is easy to spot this color against the vast black expanse of space. Hmm. How do mirrors work? Simple. There is someone behind them. Oh, awesome. <laughs> Firstly, visible light or sunlight is made up of seven different colors. A mirror consists of a glass surface in the front and behind it is an extremely smooth and thin metal film. Now, when light falls on the mirror, it passes through the glass surface and reaches the metal film. The metal film does not absorb any colors of light. Instead, it reflects back all of them. As a result, we can see ourselves in the mirror. Hmm. What if we become a horse? No need. Omsum looks more handsome than a horse. Oh, um, some. Huh? Firstly, if we become a horse, we may start sleeping while standing. Mm. Secondly, if we become a horse, we may start huh? winning marathons. Hmm. Lastly, if we become a horse, we may start easily winning beauty pageants. Mm. What if we become a cat? Absolutely no need. Amsum can jump higher than a cat. Oh, Amsum. Huh? Firstly, if we become a cat, dogs may start chasing us. Mm. Secondly, if we become a cat, female cats may start getting attracted towards us. Mm. Thirdly, if we become a cat, rats may start running away from us. Mm. Lastly, if we become a cat, we may now also start drinking like a cat.